This man is a living legend. Let's not go too far. Let's not go too far. This is Paul Kantner, Jefferson Starship, Starship, Jefferson Airplane. Not Starship. Not Starship. No, God forbid. I, well, we'll get. Well, maybe we'll get into that if we have time a little later. But let's start with the, the band you're on tour with now. Jefferson Starship. Who's yeah. in the band? Is it uh, me, just call it David friends, Freiberg, it? Uh, Marty Ballon sometimes from Airplane, uh, Kathy Richardson, our, our newest singer for the last year and a half or so, uh, Slick Aguilar on guitar, Chris Smith on drums. Donnie Baldwin uh, on, I mean, Donnie Baldwin on drums. You're right. Chris Smith on, uh, it's late. Uh, <laughs> I understand. On keyboards. Cool. And and how does the set list come about? Is it mostly Jefferson Starship, Airplane, combination of the two? A combination of the two. We do stuff from before we were even playing to all stuff we haven't even recorded yet. Right. I, you're coming up to our home uh, country of Canada shortly to play a show in Edmonton. Edmonton, yeah. Right. Uh, in, in like a week or so. Yeah, next uh, next week. When I think we're playing there Thursday, if I'm not mistaken. No, I'm well. guessing now. So yeah, that, fair enough. Soon enough, they were being canned. Soon, going. next week. Yeah. And uh, so, so are you on the road? Is this a tour? Is it just like no, a no? We go out thing, there. Or? We come and go. Yeah. If we please. Yeah. It must yeah. be a luxury that, to be able to do that nowadays. You, it's you play nice when you want. We can. Yeah. 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 yeah it is. And nice that you can put out records when you want. You put out a record two years ago that came. Didn't expect to see that happen. We're working on a new one for uh, next uh, year, too. Oh, so there's not going to be a decade in between releases? This no, no, we're doing a Jefferson Starship record, new material, mostly. Then what are you writing about? Is it still a concept theme kind of stuff? Or? No, no, God only knows. We haven't hardly written it yet. Okay. We're, do we're forming it as I speak. All right, cool. Let's go back a little bit. You you're the only band to play in Monterey, Altamont, and Woodstock. And we lived. And somehow, <laughs> somehow, one of, one of the few survivors. How do we survivors. do that? How do we do that? What, what was the best one out of the three for you? What was, what was your favorite experience? I don't have a favorite. It's like asking what's your, what's your favorite child of your children. Some they all are favorites. totally different and have something to do. Speaking of children, them though, both. You, you're someplace based on the new record, is he not? Yeah, he does. Uh, yeah, he's, a, he's a good musician, very good musician. Not in the band, though. He's played with the band. Okay. On stage, live. He played at Woodstock with us last summer. Oh, really? That was amusing. That, uh, that must have been cool for you to, to kind of come full circle in that That's regard. true. And he's uh, working on becoming a teacher, actually, uh, which is what I was going to be until I got distracted by the 60s. <laughs> and uh, so it's nice that he's following through on both levels. That's fantastic. The 60s, Summer of Love, you lived through it. I can only imagine what it was like. Actually, I heard you said the summer before that was actually a little bit better. The summer before was the best. And, that, and that's what no one knows. And why, why well, was I that? I do. Well, you, well only, the, only the people in that Come scene on, it's ancient know. history. It hardly matters now. It's, it's, it's cool to people my age, though. We, we, we wish we were born then for some reason. Yeah, my children always say, oh, Dad, you got to do everything. Yeah. We don't get to do anything. No, it's not as free as it was. And I said, well, you could find some things if you look hard enough. <laughs> I guess that's Our right. good thing is we didn't have to look. It just came piling in on us. <laughs> Fair enough. You still an advocate for, for marijuana use and all that stuff? I've never been an advocate for anything, actually. Uh, I advocate for people to do what they think best. Whatever their heart desires. And whatever. No, they, not as long, as, they don't, as, long as they don't harm anybody. Uh, <laughs> or something like that. Yeah, fair enough. It's not got too hippie on me here. <laughs> all right. It's late. It's after a show. I understand. Yeah, we got to get up early, so wind this thing in. I'm done. Oh, good. Thank you. My pleasure.